What if you could go back in time when Windows XP hasn't been released yet and enjoy the latest version of the development builds of Windows XP and see how it is like to use it on a daily basis? And we can do that today, but most app software won't support it. But we have a solution. Welcome to React OS 4. The team behind React OS 4 is building an open source operating system built from the ground up to be binary compatible with Windows XP. From the kernel to the user experience, the kernel is a rebuild of the NT kernel piece by piece. They're rebuilding Windows XP without using Microsoft's actual source code. It's not Linux. It's actually a totally different operating system from the installer to the experience. It is another version from another universe, a second Windows XP. Now, it's still not finished, but it is in development. So if you want to experience what Windows XP was like while it was being built, this is your chance. This is a preview of a video that I'm going to be sending to Windows on Windows, Major Sky 17, and I want to give a brief taste of what that video might include. So this is React OS 4.0 setup, and you might notice that the setup is actually uh, very similar to Windows NT setup. Actually, this is almost identical to Windows XP setup. It is engineered to be like Windows NT and Windows XP. You have the text-based user interface for first, and then when you, when you copy the files, you boot into a Windows Windows user interface to complete the setup. So we're going to click next or enter to begin the setup and we're going to, uh, these are drivers except and this is where the partition scheme comes in and we're going to install it in this partition. Um, so I will not continue the setup. This vi The rest of the setup process will be for Major Sky 17 Windows on Windows subscriber showcase. But before I go, I'll give you a preview of what the Windows XP or React OS Windows XP alternative desktop might look like. Hello and welcome back and this is the React OS desktop. We're going to be installing some Windows software and exclusively Windows software. So we're going to try some basic software that you might need for everyday life like VLC, 7-zip, a word processor and see if you could use this as a daily driver. This is the beta version of Windows XP and there's actually a, a beta version of a Windows XP from another universe, yes. And this has so many similarities to Windows XP, you're going to freak out. There's some awesome things, there's, um, I can't wait to show you the control panel dialog boxes, the awesome Windows uh, retro software that you've been missing since Windows XP, and a preview of the theming engine. Just like Windows, Windows XP was starting to get the theming engine, this is on its on the same process of trying to get a theming engine working. This is like the going back in the past and enjoying seeing how Windows XP develops. But this is the latest version, so hopefully the latest software will work, and we're going to see how this works because this is going to be awesome. Let me give you a quick taste. This is the Windows Explorer, and there's also an Internet Explorer. And which uh, there's Internet Explorer, yes, the actual Internet Explorer, binary to binary rebuilt of uh, the web browser. But I'm gonna sh that that itself is gonna be exclusive to the other video. And there's some system properties. Look at the tile bar colors. And there's the start menu options. Right click properties. Very similar start menu options. I'm gonna go into detail on these on the other video, just to give you a sneak peek. There's some more awesome stuff coming your ways. There's also a more modern start menu just like the Windows XP. We're going to talk about that in the other video. So hopefully you're excited. If you are, please like this video, subscribe. I will see you soon um, I, uh, and I'll see what you think. If you would like more retro videos, Windows 98, 95, I have those videos too. Please subscribe and also subscribe to Major Sky 17's channel, Windows on Windows. If you like all the retro, retro stuff, if you like the old Windows versions, Microsoft, all these things, we are here to help you explore the past and the present and the future. Have a good one.